<laughs> there you go. When we first met Zoe last winter, she was eight years old, full of heart, and doing pretty well on only three legs. So it's not slowed you down. Uh-uh. Doctors had to amputate one of Zoe's front legs last fall when she was diagnosed with life-threatening bone cancer. Dogs get cancer. It's the most common reason for a dog to die. Last winter, Zoe just listen to his heart. and fellow Great Dane Murphy were part of a new study which may help people as much as their dogs. It's, a scale. it's the pet project of veterinarian Cheryl London, who does research at Tufts, and Dr. Katherine Janeway at Dana-Farber Boston Children's Cancer Center. We are trying to understand cancers in dogs and develop new treatments and then apply those to humans. The mutations really cluster. At the this area. growing field is called comparative oncology. Veterinarians teaming up with cancer doctors to find a cure. It puts the whole idea of dog being man's best friend <laughs> in a completely new light. Nobody would think of them as a volunteers in a clinical trial of a new drug that could someday save your life. And may save theirs. Right. Big rest. <sighs> Oncologist Janeway treats the same type of bone cancer in children that London treats in dogs, osteosarcoma. It's been three or four decades since we've had a new approach in osteosarcoma that's worked. How is this any better than using the traditional model of the mouse in the lab? Mice don't have an immune history like you and I do because they're kept in cages and they're isolated. Dogs get exposed to many different antigens. They get exposed to a lot more. <laughs> yeah. So on the left is a picture of a human leg bone. With and osteosarcoma in kids and dogs is astonishingly similar. This is the dog here, and it looks almost exactly the same. It sure does. Eyes. And the ultimate goal here? Very promising new drugs for osteosarcoma. So you just want to help, right, Zoe? A new drug won't come in Zoe's lifetime or in Murphy's. Sadly, since we first met them, they have both succumbed to their disease. But this research still has their paw prints all over it.